electrifying, bro. I don't know if you just saw that, guys. Freaking power line just blew up. Hello, welcome to today's video. That's a sign of things to come. We're in for a banger, guys. <laughs> hey, today we're about to meet up with Hilton, do what we love to call Omdi Dam. However, today it's a bit different. Today I have no gears. Ouch. It's a Rook 1 steel frame, a South African company established in Cape Town, Long Street. Go check them out if you are in Cape Town. I'm sure you know about them already. Very dope bike. Under 5,000 Rand, you can pick yourself up a Rook 1. We'll do a bit of a bike check just now. Yeah, folks, let's see where Hilton is and get the show on the road. This one's gonna hurt, I think. Oh my god. Hello, bro. Right on time. Right on time. <laughs> Match, match. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're heading dam wise. Um, we're gonna go around the dam, either come back the same way we went out. If not, if we're feeling brave, we're going around Heckport that way, um, and that's gonna give us our 100 miler, 140 odd Ks to go um, with that one. But we'll see how that goes. What do you think, bro? Uh, not Heckport. <laughs> not Heckport, eh? No, I don't know about Heckport either. This thing and Heckport's gonna hurt. Um, but yeah, we've got a hill coming up over there. Let's drop down here. We climb that hill um, and I'll let you know how the legs are feeling after that. It's a decent what? Like a 12, 10 percenter over there? Something like that. So we'll, we'll test out the, the old Alpiona. <laughs> that car. Just as well Hilton dropped his chain before the massive kicker we're about to face. There's the old 10%. Let's see what it does to the old legs. <laughs> Almost up the second climb. Pretty hectic to climb with no gears. And yeah guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle Peterson. I take you on epic rides, epic adventures, epic challenges, and nothing different today. The Rook single speed left the gears at home and we're smashing out, well, basically as far as I can ride, as far as the legs will allow. So let's see. I think I've banked about a 60 or 70 on this bike before, but that's about it. We're about 43 in, about to cross over an abandoned highway. Check this out. Yeah, check this highway out. So it's been abandoned for as long as I've been riding, so a good 10 years this thing's been abandoned. I've shot movies in here when I was still in the film industry. Um, I think we actually brought about 20 American Humvees in here and this turned into an American army base for Generation Kill. Check out the bike here quick. Um, we're rolling a Rook 1 steel frame over there. It comes with a lifetime warranty, running slightly slightly deep dish wheel, uh, laced into a Novatech hub. Really nice Novatech hub, easy to maintain. Flip flop at the back so you can flip it to a, a fixed gear or have your, your single speed on the other side which I'm rolling today. You've got your wide chain it's a bmx chain just a root crank the general standard crank that comes on the rook with rider pedals got my apigura bag in five liter um, it does come in a smaller one but an amazing bag super good quality at the back again got the rider light fabric set running the garmin up front got the fake gears just to keep clear i guess <laughs> and yeah that's it running brakes as well you can run a brake list that's the rook one go check them out i'll drop the link Psyche's neck. Done. Let's get to the dam. The dam's just up, up ahead. Don't know if you can see it. She's super green today. Super fast downhill now. Let's put this camera away. 
pretty much at the dam now. Nice cruise in. Those hills were, were pretty beast. Where's Hilton? <laughs> like a sewerage system. The hyacinth has taken over once again. This poor place, man. All the people that live along this water must suffer so badly. If I could visually give you the smell that's coming off of this dam right now, you wouldn't want to have your breakfast, put it that way. It's pretty rough, eh? But yeah, nonetheless, we're at the dam. We're still in one piece. The legs love me for now. Yeah, let's do this. Let's send the drone up. City over there they broke through that mountain back there and yeah such lack of time for a road bike we've crossed the dam we're making our way back over the dam we've gone for the chicken run we're only gonna sit in for about 120 k's uh, so we've pretty much just got to double what we've done now and get home we've got a monster climb coming up so yeah let's see legs are still feeling fresh we haven't needed to stop for a coke, so things are looking good. Laka, how are you feeling? Oh, strong. Strong, yeah. Up and yeah, yeah. Now, Hilton brought gears today. <laughs> the best built song in town, guys, as you turn into British Rome. A little butchery over there. Good built on. Also sell a peri peri sauce called Afrique. Go get it. It's amazing. Once again guys, thank you so much for subscribing, liking and watching all the videos I post on this channel. I really do enjoy creating this content and bringing you the best content I could possibly bring. Just left our little stop, topped up the bottles, got a can of coke, smashed that, and now we got a monster climb. Probably be climbing for about half an hour. Wish me luck. And here it starts. Not too bad. Actually, don't even need to get out. The... Not too bad. Don't even need to get out the saddle for this one. Back up. Alright, guys. The hill I was most scared of isn't too bad on a single speed actually I'm gonna go say this right now I think the single speed is my favorite bike why have I been riding bikes with gears for so long you honestly you do not need gears just say I was lying this is so hard nearly at the top yeah got some downhill there Alrighty, Laka just broke 100k officially the furthest I've gone on the single speed on the route. It's been an epic adventure, an eye opener if you will. I never thought it would be possible to do long distance on the route without actually hating myself for the decision of doing that. There were a couple of times where I was near death but apart from that it's been smooth sailing. Absolutely no complications, no noise with gears, simple as steel. <laughs> the feedback and feeling you get from the steel frame is quite something else. Very hard, almost hard like carbon, but it's got the dead weight of the steel. So you hit a bump, you hardly feel it like a gravel bike, and it's solid. Just sits harder than a road bike. It's definitely a different experience. If you're after something different, go take the track bike for a spin. Definitely won't be disappointed. 
and it's definitely possible. To be honest, I don't know why I muck about with gears and bikes with gears. Cowboy, you're onto something, my bro. Yeah, guys, where is Hilton? <laughs> Let's stop here. We'll wait for it. Got about 20 k's to go. Make it back into town. Should be home just after 10. Laka. What a lacquer ride guys. Pity Hilton had to drop off. Hope you get home buddy. Thank you so much everyone for sticking around, tagging along. It's been an awesome morning. It's been a banging ride and it's been banging bringing you all the content. As always hit that like button guys. Hit that subscribe button. 